Hey everybody, today we're going to check out a new hoister of mine that I just got in the mail yesterday by Historical Emporium. It's going to be for my new model army, which is going to be the sheriff model, so it's a five and a half inch barrel. So this one is going to be a cross draw and left handed. So let's check it out, see if I like it. So a little bit of a teaser, I went ahead and opened this up with my new belt knife. There will be a video on that later. So, let's go ahead and check this sucker out. Alright, came with a nice thank you note. And look at that stud. His beard is way better than mine. I like that shape. Alright, got it in black. Uh, look like it came with instructions. Alright, it shows I guess how I can kind of shape it a little bit better for my revolver if it doesn't fit in there good. Alright, so here it is. You got the belt loop right here, so I'll kind of sit like that or there and this should be adjustable right here so that we can get it where it go over the hammer uh, to keep it in place they also keep the hammer from moving to where it can um, you know accidentally go off if you hit it or something so let's go ahead and grab my I mean it let's see I'm gonna show you a little bit of the revolver up close pretty good thick leather um, they got it smooth out pretty good. Um, it looked like it's two pieces. So this is not just one piece leather. Um, so they they got two pieces together. Got the loop right here. Got this and that is through there so you can adjust it, tighten it, loosen it. Uh, let's see. It, it would be a little bit difficult to adjust, but frankly, I think that's the way it's supposed to be so that it just doesn't come loose on its own. Alright, so let's check out, see how it fits. Fits pretty good. The slides in real good. Get their end on the way. Let's see. Might need to loosen that just a little bit. Um, but heck, that's the job. So we'll go ahead and put this on, see how it looks. Well, I already know what my next buy going to be. It would be a good gun belt. Got all this stuff right here. It sits on my regular belt. But I like the angle, it's a real good angle. Um, the leather latch for the hammer is under pretty tight, so I just got to readjust it a little bit, figure out exactly where I want it, and leather loosen up in time anyways. Uh, but once I have that undone, it's a real good, easy smooth to take out, easy to put back in. So, I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. Seems like it's going to be a pretty good holster. So let's go ahead and just take another quick look at it. So like you can see, slides in there pretty good, slides out real good. The biggest thing you're going to have to do with this is just kind of figure out exactly where you want this. Um, you can get it on pretty good. But, just got, you know, once you get it set up right, you probably be able to flick it with your thumb pretty good. So that's a little bit more of a fast draw. Right now, it's a process for me, so I definitely going to have to get that adjusted. Um, but yeah, it doesn't hook up on anything. So it's a real good, smooth taking out. Um, seems like it's pretty well made. So, 
I think this is a good buy. So the quality does seem like it's pretty good. Uh, that's how I say it hooks to the hammer. Um, there's a lot of historical hoisters that had it set up this way. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty nice. The stitching looks good. Seems like it's well made. It should last. So, if you are interested, check it out. A link to their webpage will be in the description below. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with it. Now I'm just going to have to be on the hunt for a gun belt. Y'all have a wonderful day. And stay safe.